What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Eric's house. And today we're talking about a new film by the name of Civil War. I checked this one out last night. I did a quick short out of the theater review, but I want to give some more extended thoughts on it. This is a movie I didn't know existed. I just was like, we'll see what's playing tonight. Why don't I check out? Check out something. Thursday night, any new movies? Civil War. And when I read the synopsis, I thought, well, first of all, that does sound right up my alley. I love post-apocalyptic type movies. And this one sounded amazing in that there's a civil war that's tearing apart this country. Literally, people are dying all over the place and it's happening in the not too distant future. As in, we see the same roads, we see the same buildings, stores. Maybe they're all closed down, shut down and shot up, but they're still there, gas stations, whatnot, except there's a civil war going on and there's bodies all over the place and crashed and abandoned cars and whatnot so that sounded really awesome but i had an immediate concern i'm thinking wait a second this movie is going to be extremely overtly political let's just be honest this day and age hollywood can't help themselves on movies that have no business having any kind of political message and they still put it in there i can't only imagine what would be in this movie where a country is in actual civil war when i went to see the movie anyway took the chance and there really wasn't that issue it was exactly what i hoped it would be regarding that in that they were able to create this story where there is a civil war going on in the united states of america yet they don't really discuss any modern day politics they didn't talk about trump biden republicans gun control abortion they didn't bring any of these political talking points into the movie which is i think a good thing because everyone can enjoy it there's some people going to be actually actually mad about that because they want the movie to validate their uh, you know political leanings but this movie ain't that and i'm super happy about that and actually shocked now there might be you might be able to twist something in there and try to say that it oh that applies to this or that but really i thought that this was just a awesome civil war movie not, a, not the old Civil War, but a new Civil War in the United States. And uh, I, I really, really enjoyed the movie. I thought the movie was damn entertaining from beginning to end. I can say this. I was glued to this movie. It had my full attention the entire runtime. And that doesn't happen a lot. A lot of these movies, especially, they're getting longer. And I'll start to get bored. I'll start to think other things. If I'm at home, I might even break out the phone, start checking on my business, checking out something else. But this movie, I was fully engaged beginning to end. So that's a huge positive for Civil War. And it's just my kind of movie. I just really enjoy these post-apocalyptic type atmospheres. And that's really what this movie is. There is a Civil War going on. The country is divided multiple ways. I believe there's four different factions of the country that are separated into their own new country there's maybe one area that includes washington dc that are trying to keep the union intact there's another that involves california and texas have teamed up somehow how the heck that would happen i don't know but maybe that was done just so that they that people can't say oh they're just picking the liberal states and saying those are the good guys or the or whatever or just picking the you know conservative states and saying those are the good guys or bad guys i don't even know who the good guys and bad guys are that's something in this movie that i'll discuss in a minute because the movie doesn't really tell you much about what's going on it doesn't tell you much about why this is going on and i think the reason for that is when they probably and i'm sure they tried i'm sure this draft through went through this script went through several drafts and i'm sure when they tried to say let's try to discuss the reasons for this war i think someone else at the table might have been like wait a minute people are going to take that to mean that you're supporting the liberal side or the conservative end and we don't want that we want this to be apolitical as much as possible at least as far as the current state of affairs are in the actual country so to make texas and california team up it's like this is a total fictional situation that doesn't really have anything to do with the actual real world that we live in so in this alternate reality in this country that's going on here in this movie california and texas they have more in common they are not so opposite polar opposite politically in this movie for some reason which is fine. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. 
I really don't care because this is not reality. This is a fictional movie and I'm going to get into this movie. I'm going to accept whatever they tell me is the reality in that particular universe at that particular time. So it wasn't that big a deal to me that maybe you wouldn't see Texas and California teaming up you know, anytime soon here in the actual United States. But why did I like the movie? I thought that just the environment that they were in now, this movie follows Kirsten Dunst, who is a photographer, a veteran photographer who's been doing this a long time. This Civil War has been going on a long time. You can tell she's completely oblivious at this point. I mean, she is not feeling much impact from the terrible things that are happening. So she'll take photographs of whatever, people being tortured, death. It's all like, She's just completely numb to it at this point. But then a young photographer who is someone who looks up to her is trying to join along as they take this trip uh, basically across the country to Washington, D.C., an extremely dangerous place where there are rebel forces entering to murder the president of the United States, to assassinate the president. But they want to get one last interview with the president, one last photograph of the president. Why? I'm not exactly sure why that's so important, but it so the movie can happen, I guess. But it's really not that I need to understand that. And it's not really that I need to know why this war is going on or what the sides are fighting for exactly. I would like to know, but I can understand why they didn't want to really push that because people again would be able to take, I mean, anything, whether whatever the conflict was about, there's probably every single conflict right now it seems like both sides have kind of their opinions on it, whatever it might be. So I think it was smart to try to stay away from that as much as possible. And just, you're just in for the ride. And and that's what this is. This is, you're just watching this movie that is a war-torn United States and watching this group of reporters and photographers. So you have Kirsten Dunst, I mentioned the, the, the younger girl who accompanies them. And then there's another guy and then an older gentleman who is also accompanying them. These four head out towards Washington, D.C., and they're going to have some uh, some adventures along the way, to say the least, and that's really what this movie's about. They have a run-in with a character played by Jesse Plemons, which is an absolutely enthralling scene right there. Couldn't take my eyes off of that one. Jesse Plemons was absolutely extraordinary in this small role that he had, um, and I, I won't give away anything there, but just a, a really exceptional scene. And uh, I thought every scene, you know, everything that happened was intense. And I, with my eyes were glued to the screen every step of the way. I thought that the dialogue, the acting was excellent, really good. Not a lot of like cringe moments in this one. It just was was what it was, you know. And you could see they got kind of a little more jovial joking until some tragedy hits close to home there with them. And it starts to get real serious as it moves on. And uh, it, it really is just the entire environment of a war happening in the united states it's not so much about the photography it's an interesting way to take this with the two photographers they're taking photographs of this war and they're up close and personal with bombs and, and grenades and gunfire they're right up in there almost to a point of unbelievability like why would you get how could you get that close i mean they're gonna get blown they're, they're, they're gonna get killed at some point getting that close to the action but that's what they're all about that's what they're passionate about and that's what they're doing I don't really know even the, the end goal of doing this and they're making money from this at this point. You couldn't tell the American dollar is not worth crap at this point. So I don't even really understand all that. There's a lot not that's not explained in this movie, but I still enjoyed the ride. I enjoyed every second of it. The only negatives I could say there was something that happened at the end that I could see coming. I predicted it. I could tell, oh, this is what's going to happen at the end. It's exactly what happened. I'm not saying everyone will predict that. I did. I didn't really think it was the best idea to do that, but I can kind of see it coming and it happened. So a little bit predictable in one aspect of the film and just not knowing who to root for. Like all these people look, seem terrible. Nobody cares. They're just murdering each other. And the thing about it is it's not so much that I have to know why there's this war, but the anger is so, and I, I think it's just a commentary on human history because it's happened before. I mean, it's happened before. We all know what happened in World War II and, and, and other conflicts where humans just stop caring for each other. Humans don't give a crap because they've been completely manipulated and become just completely hateful. And in this movie, I mean, they're just blowing people away, killing people on the spot, defenseless people didn't care. Man, woman, child is just killing everyone. If they're not on your side, you just whack them. 
and nobody seems to care. And that's the whole point, I guess. But um, because of the anger levels and because it's so intense and because these people are so just fired up and just ready to murder at, at, at a moment's notice, didn't, don't even care. That's what makes me curious. Like, what is actually going on? It's not that it's unbelievable. I just want to know what is causing this, but we're never told that. So you have to live with that. And I think I know why we're not told that again, because it could be turned into a political thing and they wanted it not to be. So I can get it, but I think they might have been able to tell us a little more, a little more. Just find some way, maybe at the beginning, to put some script on the, maybe they didn't want to make some bad, you know, expository dialogue, but they could have put some text on the screen in the beginning to give us some context as to what is going on here without trying to put something out there that can be construed as some kind of a political statement involving the modern day. I know that's tough, but I think they could have maybe done a little better. But overall, really enjoyed this one. That's really my only couple of negatives, though. Um, I thought this was a excellent movie. I'm going to say this was freaking awesome. I know not everyone's agreeing with that. Flaws in this movie, I can handle just fine. When you have great acting, when you have a great screenplay, and when you have just enthralling moments left and right during this adventure, during this civil war in the United States, and it's a decent runtime, it moves pretty quick, good pacing, hour 40, hour 50, it's not like super, super, super long. And um, I, I thought it was great. Now, I mean, I, I thought the end maybe could have had a little better punch. I mean, it wasn't like the end was like, oh shit. Like I said, a little bit predictable. So it kind of ended on a whimper more than a bang, but. The ride I was 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 awesome. I loved it, and I can't wait to buy it on Blu-ray and rewatch the baby. So freaking awesome. Civil War. Let me know what you think down below. We'll talk to you next time.